All right, I had a friend of the ministry let me know about this. Fundamentalist Baptist pastor arrested on charges he failed to report child abuse. I'm not going to read the whole thing here, but it's talking about this Robert A. Ross guy, pastor of Open Door Baptist Church in Mesquite. Um, I'm not sure if there's any relation with him to uh, Bob Ross, the guy, the Calvinist guy that Ruckman debated different times. I don't know. Um, but here he is right there um, covering up child abuse in his Babel building there. I mean, like I said, this stuff happens all the time. And then the media uses this to attack all sorts of things that you know, Bible believers stand for. The King James Bible says, here it says, Open Doors an Independent Fundamental Baptist Congregation. It reads the King James Bible and believes every word of the Bible is directly inspired by God. You, you see how the media loves to pounce on this thing? And uh, it goes down through here. I'm not going to get into it, the whole deal, like I said, but um, just wanted to do a real quick little report on this. Um, trying to see where it is here. They talk about the bus ministry. Uh, that's Jack Hiles stuff. And it, and uh, you know, they're talking about the fleet of school buses painted with the church logo. Um, it, later on, it talks about uh, the one guy was giving candy to children. Um, again, a Jack Hiles thing. Uh, the Liberty Baptist Church I used to attend, and I was involved there, very heavily involved there with ministry type of stuff. They had a bus ministry, and they gave candy to the children, and the whole deal. Um, and there was sexual perversion stuff there at Liberty Baptist Church. It just is an epidemic with these Baptist churches. Uh, you meet in a pagan temple that was used for sexual rituals in the first century. Pagan temples and things, you know, the, the Parthenons, Greek Parthenons. You put an obelisk on top to call a steeple. Uh, you're going to have all kinds of problems. So just again another story of a Baptist, King James only Baptist church that is just you know all kinds of perversion and everything else and like I said I think it's probably associated with Jack Hiles I was I looked into this guy that Robert Ross a little bit trying to see if he's a graduate of Hiles Anderson College and I couldn't find anything and I thought I'm not going to spend much time on this because I just I have so much else to do but just to prove it again you know get out of these Baptist churches they're wicked